<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the shadow knows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another VIC-20 video. Tonight I'm going to play the game Cloudburst on the unexpanded uh, VIC-20. Copyright 1982 by 10th Technology, Audiogenic, 1983. Okay, is it still loading? Yes, it is. So it's a very, very basic uh, title screen, but better than no title screen. And as always, I haven't heard of this. And since it's on the unexpanded VIC-20, I'm not expecting too much. Uh, Cloudburst could be some sort of asteroids. Or, yeah, I'm really just guessing. Would be nice if I had the covers of, uh, of the games. But, uh, yeah, there is... I haven't found a game base VIC-20. If you get the full game base 64, the other really lot of covers are included. But not for the... Uh, I haven't found a game base for the VIC. Yeah, and it's at 90%, so... Let's see what this actually is. Wow, it features music and really hard to read text. And it's even harder to read on the television. I'm okay. Ah, okay. So it's a little bit like uh, Space Invaders. Ah, you can keep the button pressed. That's great. Let me guess, I have to shoot all the, all the clouds. I would not mind being able to shoot clouds to prevent rain. I hate rain. Okay, level 2. Yeah, there isn't too much of a challenge once you learn that you can keep the button pressed. But it's not the worst game I've played on the unexpanded Big 20 so far. Shit. Okay, let's try this one more time. Yeah, this could actually be entertaining for a couple of minutes. And you always have to uh, think that those games were a lot cheaper than uh, Atari games. or NES games, but when the NES was released in the Western world, this uh, system was also already quite obsolete. And Atari games were 
really expensive in the early 80s. And with really expensive, I can only speak for for Germany, but uh, in the early 80s, uh, some of the games, uh, the better ones, were uh, more than 100 German marks. And I don't think the games on tape were more than uh, 30, 40, 50 marks. And they were, as lo at least later on, uh, on the C64, I don't know too much about uh, the Rig 20, but later on the uh, C64, the budget games, were 10 or 15 marks, while the Nintendo games were still uh, 60, 70, 80 marks. And I don't think they're were many uh, cheap re-releases on the Nintendo, but there were ton, tons of uh, of cheap re-releases on the C64. So uh, getting the console or the computer was uh, more expensive over here in Europe. But even if you didn't uh, pirate uh, the games, which was in, uh, incredibly easy on the C64 and uh, probably as easy on the VIC-20. Even if you did buy the games and uh, did not buy cartridge games, you uh, got a lot uh, cheaper off uh, of buying the games than buying the cartridges for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Atari. <coughs> yeah, but this was not a terrible game. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video and thanks for watching.